Last night was the worst night by far. Around 1 a.m. the bombing was so intense that we decided to huddle together as a family in the living room, away from the windows. Then a huge blast, so powerful it felt like the building was going to collapse. We hear screaming from the floors above us. We rush to the door. There is a woman carrying her three children running downstairs. They hit our apartment, she screamed repeatedly. Was this a roof knock? Was her apartment really hit? Myself and two more ran upstairs to see. All we can see is smoke in her apartment. The bedrooms where her children sleep have smashed walls. A missile has hit her home. We couldn't take any chances. With the clothes in our backs, we all ran downstairs to the ground floor. Do we leave? Where do we go? There is no place to go. And if we make a run for it, they'll target us. They always target moving groups. We decided that the twenty-three families should stay on the ground floor near the stairs. The children were crying. So were their mothers. It was chaotic. Then an even bigger bomb. Louder than the first. The whole building shook. Rubble flying into our building. Windows and glass smashing everywhere. We took our shahada. We were convinced this is our last night. That we wouldn't make it. The bombing was intense. Everywhere. North, south, east, west, it was random, every minute, non-stop. We were just waiting our turn, like cattle, for slaughter. Four hours passed, non-stop shelling. Then we can hear them coming by their sound. The F-16 fighter jets have arrived. By the time we made that realization, an explosion so powerful dropped us to the ground. Rubble and smoke flew in. Then, quickly, Another, closer one, then a third one a little further. All we could see are huge fireballs in the sky, light almost turning around corners. Moments later, a funny smell. We ran for any wet cloth, water on shirt and over the face will do. Time has passed. It was quiet for an hour. Was it over? The sun is now up, and we are happy to see it. We knew the Zionists don't hit as hard in daylight as they do at night, where the cameras can't capture the full scale of the destruction. We decided to go back to the lower-level apartments. We were tired. We huddled and slept close to the door, when deep down we knew that just like there is nowhere safe in Gaza, no place in our house is safer than any other. Every house was hit, every building, every mosque, they have no targets. They do not know what they are doing. Or maybe they do. This isn't a fictional story. This is how we spent last night. And if the Zionists think that this will scare us into submission, they need to think again. We only submit to Allah. We will never give up. We live and die with dignity and honor.